here we are. It's beautiful El Segundo here in LA. In fact, we're gonna get a chance to visit with Bill Ruane, the nation's number two agent here with Remax and world number three. And, and I say all of that with you because I wanted to visit with Bill since he's so seasoned and experienced in real estate and learn, well, how do we win a seller's market? And what does it mean to be in a seller's market? And what strategies are available? And I have a funny feeling you're gonna love what Bill has to share with us. Let's go meet with him now. Come on. Bill, my goodness, thank you for having us, Absolutely. my friend. Thanks, man. What a beautiful house. Uh, Bill, I'm noticing as I walk up here all of the new construction. This home is beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and Bill, I see here a sign. Is this a home that's been pre-sold? Correct. And what that means is it's that we have buyers that met with the builder and they said, hey, we want to design a home that three bedrooms, two baths, 1,600 square feet within their budget. And if this accommodates the builder, which it did in this case, they got to choose their upgrades, they got to choose their appliances, they got to choose a lot more so all flex of this, Correct. The, the flooring, the, these countertops, Bill, this amazing kitchen. So Bill, please, in the pre-sale event, did you say that this buyer was able to come in and make some pre-designed choices? Correct, a lot of pre-designed choices. I love what you shared with me earlier about strategies that help sellers get the highest dollar in a seller's market. And I think you call the strategy a pre-sale. Exactly. Do you mind sharing with our viewers today what is a pre-sale strategy like this home we're in? So it's, a, it's again, it's a win-win for the buyer and the seller. Uh, they both agree on a budget and the builder meets with the buyers and they say, well, what's your main uh, requirements on the bedroom, bathroom, square footage, and number one price level? If that price matches what the seller slash builder feels is comfortable, you have a perfect match. <laughs> it's the American dream coming through here in the city of angels. And Bill, what I love about you is that you've got this masterful gift of unlocking dreams for homeowners here in LA. In fact, what I've learned, Bill, is you don't just do it for residential homeowners. You've got this magic power that works in commercial as well. And aren't we gonna go visit with Dave at Rockin' Brews? Yes. One of the most famous iconic restaurants here that started in El Segundo, Bill. Correct. Through your help. Right. Let's go visit with them now. Let's go. <laughs> Here we are in beautiful downtown El Segundo on the corner of El Segundo and Maine, and we're at the beautiful, famous Rock and Brew. And we've got not only Bill with us here, we've got Dave and Mike, the founders of Rock and Brew itself. My brother and I dream of opening a rock and roll themed restaurant at the airport. And we needed two things, a place to try it out and somebody to run it. Bill Ruane, when you buy a property from him, he says, well, why don't we get the mayor and go over to Manhattan <laughs> Beach and ask Michael Zisslas if he'll come to El Segundo. <laughs> Michael was, came over, I love El Segundo. In the restaurant business, people come back because of the food. Yes. We have this beautiful environment. They come back because Michael and our team, Adam Goldberg, they want the food to be the best. It is the best. We invite all of you all to come on a regular basis. <laughs> that's, that's a big surprise for people. So when they come here, they think they're coming for this rock and roll experience, but then they find out it's the food. You know, we have partners that are rock stars, but they're real partners. They're involved. You know, they're helping us design the place, pick the uniforms, taste the food, get involved. Like this restaurant was co-founded by Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley, Michael Zissus, myself, and my brother. And we didn't need the money. We needed to do it great. And we as a team got together and said, we're gonna do it great. Bill, please, what would you share for those watching us right now, Bill, who might have their own vision? What do you recommend as it relates to buying commercial? What should somebody look for? When you uh, have your location is always gonna be number one if it's commercial or residential. And, and they had a, a location that wasn't really being utilized uh, with an audience that was unbelievably captive. 
but you have to have vision. Dave and Mike both have vision. If you don't have vision, think outside the box. So, so that golden rule of location, 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 it shows up everywhere. It shows up everywhere. The food is amazing. I keep smelling all of these flavors. <laughs> I wish your television would allow you to smell what we're seeing <laughs> and soon gonna be eating. So for those of you watching, here's what I say to you. Keep dreaming, keep believing, and find friends like Bill to help you unlock your dream. And I bet we might see you here meeting with us on your dream in your restaurant or your office. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Griffin. See you soon.